your complete guide to collagen and why you might need it. These are seven of the key benefits for taking collagen. Now, whether you are following a low carb lifestyle or not, collagen has some huge effects on the body. And it's all about what the individual components of collagen, the different amino acids, do with their respective roles within your body. So we're gonna break it all down. I'm gonna keep it simple, but I'm also give you the information that you need to determine whether or not you need collagen in your life. You are tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel with new videos on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. and a bunch of other videos throughout the rest of the week as well. There's a red button I'd like you to hit to subscribe to this channel, and then there's a funky looking little bell icon that I'd like you to hit to turn on notifications so you know whenever I go live. Let's go ahead and let's break down exactly what collagen is all about. All right, so first off, let's talk about the one benefit you've probably heard of before. I'm just gonna get this one right out in the open, and that's the skin benefit. Okay. We see women and men all over the place using collagen to help improve their skin. Well, the fact is there is some merit to it. It just didn't just come out of nowhere. There's a study that was published in the journal of Skin Pharmacology and Physiology. It took a look at 114 women aged between 45 and 65. And what it did is it had them consume either two and a half grams of collagen or a placebo for a good amount of time. I believe it was eight weeks. Now, what they found at the end of eight weeks was that the group that took collagen had 20% less wrinkles. Okay, well, that's cool, but we always like to know the why. At least I do. That's what this channel is all about, is digging into the why. Why did the women that consumed collagen have less wrinkles? Well, they found at the end of the study that there was a 65% increase in what's called pro-collagen type 1, and also a pretty darn good increase in elastin. Now, pro-collagen type 1 is what stimulates the body to create or utilize its own collagen. So the cool thing is, by consuming collagen in just a low amount, it actually stimulated the body to produce its own and sort of kick-started the process of allocating collagen over to the skin, which I find really fascinating. Now, increasing elastin as well. Elastin, just like the name implies, helps us get that elastic effect. And when it comes down to skin, that's really what we want. We want that elasticity that's gonna help prevent the wrinkles, right? So let's go ahead and let's move into the second benefit of collagen. And it's another one that you've probably heard of before. I'm just getting these out of the way, right? And that is joint pain. Now, when we look at why this occurs, why collagen helps with joint pain, it all comes down to the fact that joint pain is triggered by inflammation in the first place. And inflammation depletes what are called proteoglycans. So if we're depleted in proteoglycans, then we're not going to be able to actually recover. Our collagen isn't going to be able to do the job it's supposed to do. So a lot of the joint pain that we encounter, or people encounter in general, is either gonna be degenerative bone disease or a degeneration of the cartilage itself, just from overuse. So what we're finding is that when you consume collagen, it tends to accumulate within the joints, therefore stimulating more collagen from your body's existing stores to build cartilage. Now there's actually a study that was published in the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry. Took a look at 80 test subjects, gave them either two grams of collagen or a placebo. Now, the patients or the subjects that it took in with this study were people that had pretty severe joint pain for at least three months or longer. So they went ahead and they gave them some collagen. Now they found at the end of the 78 day study that they had improvements in their joint pain all the way back to day 35, but even more at day 70. So a progressive improvement in their overall pain. They just didn't have as much pain. Now why this occurs? Mainly because we're modulating the inflammation we're getting those proteoglycans back so the body's able to heal itself. This is what I wanna emphasize. Collagen itself is not here to solve the problem, but collagen kickstarts the body's process so that your body can do what it does best, heal itself. Now, the third benefit of collagen that I wanna talk about is sleep. Every adult that I know has encountered or battled with some kind of sleep issue at some point in the past or present. Okay. Now, a lot of people have a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep. Now, when it comes down to falling asleep, one of the biggest reasons people don't fall asleep is because their core body temperature is out of whack. We need to be keeping our bodies nice and cool when we fall asleep. Now, if you're like me, my wife likes the thermostat a little warmer. I like it a little cooler, which means that if she's winning the battle, I'm having a rougher time sleeping, even if I don't realize it, because men tend to like it a little cooler than women. But either way, we all need to be nice and cool when we fall asleep. Point being, the primary amino acid that we see in collagen is glycine. 
And glycine has very powerful effects at cooling the body. I'm not talking about making you freezing cold. I'm talking about just cooling the body a little bit. And it does so by acting upon what's called the NMDA receptor. This NMDA receptor sort of relaxes our blood vessels and forces a vasodilation effect. So basically all the blood that would normally be pooling around our core, keeping us hot, now has the ability to evacuate and go into our limbs, which therefore cools us down. When it cools us down, then we can fall asleep easier. But glycine also does something interesting. It inhibits something known as orexin. Now, orexin is, it plays a big part in uh, arousal, in excitement, even in anxiety. So we have to be careful with that. So if we can inhibit this orexin, then we can make life a little bit easier when it comes down to falling asleep, not having our mind racing all the time. The next benefit is one that is super important, especially if you are eating a ketogenic diet or if you're on any lower carb, higher fat diet. This is its effect on the liver. Why isn't this talked about more? Collagen has a profound effect on the liver. And again, it comes back to our friend glycine, okay, that primary constituent, that big important amino acid. Why it's so important is it helps create bile. Okay, glycine is required, and I mean just absolutely required for the synthesis of bile salts within the body. If we are deficient in glycine, and studies have proven this, we do not produce as much bile. Bile is what emulsifies fats. When you eat a fatty meal, if you don't have bile, those fats are gonna sit in your stomach and they are gonna cause you a lot of grief. If you're having a hard time digesting fats on keto, it's more than likely a bile issue. Okay, so glycine, if we actually fix the glycine depleted issue, then we can start producing bile again, which means we can emulsify fats and absorb them and turn those into ketones or just turn them into fuel in general. Okay, so very, very, very important if you're on a low carb ketogenic diet. Now, additionally, it helps modulate inflammation in the liver via what's called the tumor necrosis factor one alpha pathway. Okay, so this means Studies have shown that it helps improve some of the inflammation that occurs in the liver, predominantly from overuse of alcohol. So if maybe you just have one too many and you wanna reduce the impact on your liver, taking some collagen can help you out a little bit. Now I wanna stop right here for a second because if you are doing a keto diet or a low carb diet, I wanna go ahead and extend a special discount now for everyone that's watching this video on some perfect keto collagen because that's exactly what I would consume before bed if I was consuming collagen, right? So what I'll do is I'll use either their salted caramel or their chocolate flavor, mix it with a little bit of almond milk, have that before bed. That way I'm getting the glycine effect, but I'm also getting the digestive benefit. So people always talk about collagen when they're on a keto diet, but no one really knows why. Well, adding collagen to your morning drink, adding collagen to your protein shakes, adding collagen before bed, use it as an aid to help you out with all these other things. Don't use it as just a muscle builder like you would an ordinary protein shake. That's why collagen has benefits. It's not just about building muscle, it's about all this other stuff that has extra impact on the ketogenic diet. That's why so many keto products out there have collagen. So I do wanna go ahead and give you a special discount it's down in the description below for quite honestly, probably the best tasting collagen powder that's out there on the market. So big thank you to Perfect Keto. Don't miss out this discount. You're not gonna get it cheaper anywhere else. Okay, now moving in to the next piece the hormonal side. Collagen has a big impact on our hormones, believe it or not. It helps modulate estrogen within the body. People don't even realize that, especially in the female population. You see, what collagen does, and again, it comes back to the glycine, is it helps activate estrogen receptors. You might be thinking, why would I wanna activate estrogen receptors? Well, estrogen receptors are gonna take the free estrogen floating through the body and actually put it to proper use so we don't have excess estrogen causing a free radical effect, causing water retention. We want that estrogen to be used properly so that we can metabolize the extra, get it out of our system. So huge effects on hormonal balancing, okay? We definitely wanna have that, especially if you're a female. The next one is actual muscle recovery. Now, this is why collagen works really well in addition to a traditional protein powder, okay? Again, it's not a substitute for, it's in addition to. When it comes to muscle recovery, like from a good solid workout or from an actual injury, collagen plays a huge role. There was a study that was published in the PMC Journal. It took a look at what happened after a muscle rupture. So they took a, someone that had a muscle injury, a good muscle rupture, and they found that collagen synthesis increased dramatically right after the injury. What that tells us is that the body was in a natural demand for collagen as a result of this injury. So if someone hurt themselves and their body was like, we need collagen. We don't know why though, it just needed collagen. So here's where it gets kind of interesting though, right at the site of the injury, like right at the source, like right after it happened, there was an increase in a need for what's called type three collagen. So that helped the recovery initially. Then weeks later, there was still an increase in the need for type one collagen. So after an injury or a really hard workout, we don't just need collagen right after the workout, we need it continually to help support the overall recovery effect. And again, if we're deficient, we're not going to recover. And believe it or not, it's easier to be deficient in collagen uh, 
aminos like the glycine, the proline, the arginine, then you think. So again, that's exactly why Perfect Keto makes it easy because it actually tastes good and makes it easy to get it in. You're not using nasty tasting collagen peptides or anything like that. So the next seventh benefit that I want to talk about is going to be the effect on the brain. And this is all some pretty new stuff. But if you're concerned about Alzheimer's, you're concerned about dementia, you're concerned about any kind of neurodegenerative diseases, collagen is going to be very important for you. It has been shown to block the beta amyloid plaque that affects our neurotransmitters, it affects our neurons, right? So normally with Alzheimer's, we have an issue where we have so much of a buildup of beta amyloid plaque, it's blocking a signal. So we lose our memory or we just we develop dementia. We kind of lose our minds a little bit. So what's interesting is collagen seems to form these chunks and these chunks sort of block the neuron so that the beta amyloid plaque can't clog the neuron. It's like acts as a buffer. It's sort of like uh, the offensive line, to be really honest. It's like kind of stands there and blocks it. It can still let something that's nimble and good through, but for the most part, it's going to block the negative things. So anyway, this is your complete guide to collagen and why there's actually some legit benefits. So when it comes down to keeping the information solid, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel. And again, don't forget to check out that special discount down at Perfect Keto down below in the description. I'll see you soon.